بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Today I'm going to present you a new lecture entitled Detection of Binary Signals in Gaussian Noise Maximum Likelihood Receiver Structure Remembering our last uh, lecture when we uh, talked about uh, baseband demodulation and detection uh, when referring to that block diagram in which we uh, wrote that the decision making regarding the digital meaning of the signal can be developed by using the inequality H1, H2, H1, and we have here the threshold Z of, Z of T, this is this is static, the output signal, this is the inequality H1, hypothesis that uh, S1 has been transmitted, the hypothesis H2, that H2 has been or was transmitted. So here they are, we're talking about threshold. Here we are now going to develop an optimum three shot. We are going to develop optimum three shot by minimizing bit error probability P B, which called bit error probability. Probability. So now we are going to write uh, inequality relationship between uh, conditional conditional uh, probability density function p z s1 divided by p z s2 inequality h1 hypothesis and h2 p s2 divided by p s1 here we are talking about uh, conditional probability density function which, which are called also the likelihood of s1 likelihood of s2 here the inequality H1, the hypothesis and H2. Here we have the a priori probability. So the optimum decision here, the optimum threshold, we have to decide that if this uh, likelihood ratio, uh, PZS1 divided by ZS2 is more than uh, we have chosen H1. In this case, we mean that uh, S1 has been transmitted. If you choose the uh, likelihood H2, which means that PS1 uh, has been uh, transmitted. Now referring to the uh, equation of the uh, likelihood ratio of S1, will be equals to 1 divided by sigma naught root square to by <coughs> exponential minus 1 divided by 2 z minus a 1 divided by sigma naught square and also p conditional probability or likelihood of s2 will be equals to 1 divided by sigma naught root square to by multiplied by exponential function minus 1 by 2 z minus a2 divided by sigma naught square square bracket here now by plugging this we will call equation number one and this will be equation number two and this will be equation number three by plugging uh, substitute two and three in one by substitute two and three in one yields so we have to clean the board because small board in this case we will obtain the optimum threshold z of t the output z of t this static more than or equal to h1 h2 a1 plus a2 divided by 2 which will be equals to the uh, optimum threshold level this is called the optimum threshold optimum threshold level now we are going to obtain this optimum threshold level by minimizing the bit error probability <coughs> So we are going to draw now the two likelihood ratios for the first conditional probability and for the second conditional probability. This we, have, we are talking about the threshold gamma equals to gamma naught. The likelihood of S2, the likelihood of S2 I'm going to draw now. And the likelihood of S1, <coughs> likelihood this will be the likelihood li likelihood s2 of t likelihood 
minus 1 of t. Here will be a1, the signal components of S1. Here will be the signal components of A2 of S2. Here S2, here S1. Here we will have two types of errors. Once, uh, if we uh, transmitted the signal, S1 has been transmitted. S1 has been transmitted. And uh, we have that the channel uh, noise affects so that the output Z of T will be less than threshold. So, first type of error, S1 was sent we have channel noise channel noise so that the output z of t will be less than our threshold level this is the first type of error in this case will be extended so if you are going to talk about the first error p e s1 will be equals to p h to S1 and this will be equals integration from minus infinity up to our threshold by PZ S1 DZ. This is the first type of error. If we transmitted S1, S1 of T, but we have here the noise, channel noise affect the output so that the output here will be less than threshold. So we have the tail here. In order to calculate later on one, we will mention that the bit error probability in order to calculate will be the area under the tier of uh, uh, either sides of right or left. We are talking now about the first error. The first error, as one was sent, channel noise effect so that the threshold will be less than, uh, the output will be less than threshold. Second type of error, <coughs> second type of error, S2 was sent. S2 was transmitted. S2, second type of error. S2 was sent, but again, channel noise results in that Z of T will be greater than threshold, greater than threshold. S2 has been transmitted, but we have here the channel noise affect that, so that the output will be more than threshold. This is the area, the area here, this. So in this case, the second error will be called P, 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 E, S2 will be equal to P, in this case H1, S2, and will be equal to the integration from the threshold, from our threshold, up to infinity for P, Z, S2, D, Z. So we have two types of error. Number one, S1 was sent. The noise of the channel affect that, so the output will be here less than the threshold. So the calculation will be from minus infinity up to the threshold by the first likelihood of the S1 of T. Then <coughs> yeah, the second type of error, if we the S2 uh, was sent, but we have again the channel noise effect, so that the output will be more than the threshold. In this case, the error will be PH1 S2. Calculation will be from the threshold up to infinity for the uh, S2 likelihood ratio. So in order to calculate <coughs> the, probability, the probability of error, which uh, maxima, which uh, makes the optimum uh, threshold, we have two ways. PB, bit error probability, in order to obtain the uh, optimum threshold, we have to calculate or from this to calculate from minus infinity uh, this function the first one to calculate the integration from minus infinity up to our threshold for this case pz s1 dz again or will be the area under the tail of the other side if we are talking about s2 will be equals to the integration from our threshold will be equals a1 plus a2 divided by the our threshold by 2 up to infinity P, Z, S, 2, T, Z. T, Z. The condition probability. So in order to calculate the uh, bit error probability or the error, uh, the error probability, we have to choose, uh, it depends on what we have given and at that, at that time, we can calculate from uh, the integration from minus infinity up to the threshold for the first uh, conditional probability or likelihood or from our threshold up to infinity for the second likelihood ratio. So in this case, we uh, tried to uh, optimum, optimize the threshold 
by minimizing the bit error probability. This is the first criteria we are talking about. Uh, next topic, we are going to optimize the receiver, the receiving of the receiver, which we will call later on mesh filter, by maximizing the argument of complementary error functions. This is the first part of our uh, lecture, talking about uh, optimizing the threshold by minimizing the bit error probability. Our next lecture will be talk, uh, we will talk about how to uh, optimize the receiver by maximizing the argument of uh, complementary error function. Uh, thank you, enough today. See you next time.